everyone I'm back with a quick uh, project share today this is a new uh, recipe page for the junk journal that I'm building or continue to build um, so I'm using my new tea party stamps from Adornit uh, this is in the um, subscription um, club for now uh, I believe that everybody should have gotten theirs already if they're in the club and then this will be all offered a la carte at a later date I don't know when, but if you're interested, uh, join the uh, Facebook group for Adorn It, um, and you will find out when they're going to release this. So the Tea Party Cakes um, stamp is what I used, as well as um, these two stamps here. These are both um, four by six stamps. Um, one of them is the add-on. If you're in the club kit, you would have received the add-on if you're subscribed. And the other one will drop whenever they do the a la carte. Um, so I did use both the four, four by six stamp sets. This tea for two and the little string of hearts and this little mug right here on that set. So I did use these two four by six um, stamp sets. Okay, I also use this very large Spellbinders die. You can see... Let me put it here how big it is um, I don't have the packaging for it but I know it's a labels die I'm gonna bring out my big book that has it stored in there because um, I wrote it down labels 23 that's what this is and you need to have a die cutter that can fit this because I don't know if that's the standard size my pencil stuck up under there Okay, so um, that's a quite a big uh, die there, and I like using these for larger projects. So um, let me just put that back in the pocket. These are um, on magnetic sheets that I keep in these folders. These are just a, your, your typical school folders. Um, so there's that. And then um, I also use some of my paper. This actually is from the... February um, kit or add-on. Um, you can probably still get this, I think. It's the one that has the sprinkles on the back, so it was for Valentine's. Oh, wait. Maybe it was uh, released in January of this year, I think. So this is the sprinkles one. So there's that paper. And then also use this Knitwit Collections um, paper uh, from Lily of the Valley. It was a collaboration between these two folks. Um, I think they might have this digitally if you're interested at Knitwit um, and not at Lily of the Valley, I think. Because I bought this uh, physical paper pad from Lily of the Valley. Um, so I think she might offer this, um, what is it called? Pastel Dreams, Up, Up, and Away. Um, and this is an 8x8. So I used the paper ma mainly from that. Um, I also used my Copics. Take that pencil out. Just a few because I did a lot of paper piecing. Um, mostly grays, and then some to color in what look like tea. Uh, this is a Posca pen. It is a white um, paint pen that I used, um, and that's just to to color some of the uh, image. And both of my Memento Tuxedo black pads, I needed the smaller one to um, restamp some of the detail, um, and I didn't want to get the outlines in there because it would be too dark. Let me show you my project. Here is my junk journal. I'm not going to show you the whole book, but here is the page that I created using the papers from Knitwit. Um, lots of um, paper piecing here. And then, um, so the little kerchief here, the this pattern right here, the cups, and this background, and the teapot, and then this little tag right here are all from that Knitwit's, Knitwit collections um, paper pad. And then um, same with this polka dot back, background but here is where the Diana Markham paper came in it's actually the back part um, to this page I uh, wanted something that was a little more sturdy and I needed a larger piece of paper since this is 8x8 pad which is not tall enough for my junk journal um, I needed to use at least an 8.5x11 to get that so I pieced them together um, but I do like the way that this looks because I um, you can read this um, recipe much easier on the white background than some of the others that are actually in the the tea um, party release um, so uh, I, I wanted to use that pattern so that you would get that little you know 
pattern on the teapot and the cups, the matching cups. So I just colored some. Um, you can see I used a lot of the gray for shadowing, really, um, and the hearts are red. That's really the only color, real color I used here other than the gray. Um, and just added a little tag here um, for the little mug to bring in some more of the pink. And then I also punched the tab for the top with my um, Stampin' Up! punch in some of the... Um, what do you call that? Scrap paper that I had. I haven't finished the back sheet yet. Um, I need to get with my tea bags here that I am collecting as I drink. Um, I have some even sitting right here. Yeah, what are these? These these could probably go over here. Um, these are white peach. So um, do a page on the back for some tea bags um, and write my thoughts on this. This this tea was really good. This white peach one. Um, so I will probably put that on the back. That's great. <laughs> I didn't do that intentionally for it to match. But um, yeah, I. Uh, in case you guys are wondering, I do keep the little tab tabs because I like to, you know, kind of make it more interesting by adding some of that to the, the, the page itself. And then I'll add a little journaling spot for me to finish this out. Um, and probably put these on a, another sheet of paper so that it brings the color of this packet out. Um, so yeah, I, I chose this page in the book um, to mirror this, this part because she's actually sitting there eating pie and having some milky tea. So um, I thought that would be appropriate um, to face that page. And then of course on the other side is what is another a book itself that has... Um, well, that I took apart, deconstructed, that has some um, sprinkle butter sandwiches. Wow. Sprinkles on sandwiches. Oh, okay. Cream cheese and sprinkles <laughs> and colored sugar. Interesting. All righty. Um, Harvest moon apples. That sounds good. Okay, so um, that is it for now. I hope you enjoyed my project share. I'll give you another look at it. And I'll finish the other side at some point. And thanks for watching and I'll talk to you soon. Bye for now.